And what we're going to do today is we're going to wax our snowboard. We're going to put a hot wax on it. What we'll do is we'll start with the fast wax product with our base prep wax to prime the snowboard. And then we can follow it up with one of our two racing waxes. And what we'll choose today is we'll use our warm fluorinated racing wax. So we'll put a layer of that on. To start with though, what we're going to do is clean our snowboard. And what I see uh, people do, and it's really not the way you want to be doing it, is they use a wax remover to clean their snowboard. And I'm not sure how that got started, but it really isn't the way to do it. What makes a snowboard fast, or skis in general fast, is layers and layers of wax. It absorbs into the pores in the cindered bases, but it also absorbs into the amorphous region of the polyethylene base. When you go take a wax remover and you go over the snowboard, you take all of that out. So rather than use a wax remover and pull wax out of the board, which dries it out, what we're going to do is scrape and brush the snowboard out, and do a hot scrape with our base prep, and that puts wax in it and cleans the snowboard by adding wax to it. So we keep adding and adding layers. Once you have this board primed with a layer of base prep, put a layer of our fluorinated racing wax on it, you can just keep adding wax to it, brush it out in between, iron it in. As you see, if you pick up dirt in the board, that's when you want to go back and do a hot scrape again. But if you do this over time, you get many layers of wax into the board, and it gets faster, the wax becomes more durable, the base gets better. The bases actually swell up a little bit when they absorb that wax, so by doing that you're changing that base. So you want to make sure that you use a hot scrape, layers of wax, and you just keep adding to it. So to start what we're going to do is get our stainless steel brush out. It's the fast wax super fine brush. We spent a couple years developing it. And it sweeps the wax out of the ski. It's got a long bristle on it. It's unique to the market. It's the only brush like this. And what we'll do is go through and brush our snowboard out. And you can see as I brush, we're pulling a little bit of wax out of it. If you don't see that come out when you brush the snowboard up hard, you're really not waxing often enough. And we'll go over this a couple times. And we'll mostly work about the center region of the board. I wax the tip and the tail a couple times a year and let it go at that. Once we have the surface broken up a little bit, we'll go over it with the horsehair brush and kind of sweep the rest of the old wax dust out of it. Turn my vent on and I'll turn my iron on. And we'll let that iron warm up a little bit. But just to refresh you, the one thing that you want to make sure you do each time you bring the snowboard up on the wax table is to go down the edges and make sure that you don't have any nicks in it that will catch on your wax and iron to catch on your tools and go over it just lightly with your shop stone just to ensure that there's no nicks there and get in the habit of doing that every time you put the board on. If you put a nick in the iron or a gouge in the iron you can then put that nick will then relate to a gouge and you can gouge the surface of your snowboard and you don't want to do that. So what we'll do now is grab our block of base prep and we'll go down and we'll drip some wax down the edges and we'll get good coverage on the whole board. Make sure we catch those edges and then we'll zigzag through the center of the board. And always use a 
digital wax iron, generally the heavier the iron, the better they work, the more mass is to them, and they hold temperature a little better. But iron start around 50 to 60 dollars and work their way up from there. Never buy a cheap iron. You'll have difficulty holding the temperature or getting it set correctly. They don't hold the temp, so you'll be fiddling with that constantly. The other thing is you risk burning a board when you're doing that. And if you burn a snowboard up, they're basically ruined. And it's kind of a poor way to try and save a buck. If you look at how long you own iron, this is a new iron for me, the last one I had for 10 or 12 years before it burned out. It's pretty cheap usage of an iron, it costs you a couple bucks a year to use it. That's the one way I always look at gauging whether to buy something or how much to buy, how much to spend on it, is how often am I going to use it. And I probably wax skis just about as much as or more than anybody. So they last three years. Always keep your iron moving, generally work it from one end to the other. And we'll give one more blast down this side here to make sure we get that edge covered good. Then we'll go ahead and scrape that wax out while it's still warm. This is the only time we do that when we're waxing is to scrape the wax when it's warm. take our stainless steel brush and we'll clean that out one more time. Same thing, just work it from one end to the other and brush that wax out of the structure. It's exceptionally dirty. We can go back over that with that hot scrape a second time. But for right now, what we'll do is we'll just put a, our layer of fluorinated racing wax on the board. And we'll repeat that for a 
procedure. We'll work it from tip to tail. We'll melt it on, iron it in. Only this time we'll let it set to harden for about a half an hour. And let that board cool down and let that wax, wax suck into the board. Again, we'll cover the edge really well. that iron nice and slow down the base, make sure that we get all that wax melted in and get nice coverage on the board. And as you can see, the smoother you get the wax into the board, the easier it is to scrape it. Got the wax smoothed it out in the board, so now what we'll do is we'll just let this set cool down for about a half an hour. The longer the better, but to let the board cool nice and slowly, it'll soak up that wax. So we'll give the board about a half an hour, take a break here, and then we'll come back and we'll scrape the snowboard out.